Do you work or study? I'm a student at the University of Toronto. Um, I'm doing a bachelor's degree in business management, which focuses on developing the skills and knowledge needed to effectively manage and lead organizations. Do you like your subject? Yes, definitely. Even though I found some classes quite challenging, most of the classes in my major are very intriguing. Yeah, so I'm very satisfied with the program so far. Why did you choose to study that subject? I've always been interested in business management. I mean, I get fascinated by inspiring stories of successful CEOs. So I decided to study business management to learn more about how to run a business and eventually become a successful CEO. Do you like to eat cakes or other sweet foods? Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm quite addicted to cakes. Well, I enjoy all kinds, but um, my absolute favorite has to be cheesecake. It just melts in my mouth, you know? So whenever I'm feeling down, a piece of cheesecake never fails to cheer me up. Did you like to eat cakes as a child? Well, absolutely. I loved it. When I was little, um, I only got to have cakes on special occasions like, you know, family members' birthdays or um, Christmas. So I always looked forward to those days, partly because I knew I would get to enjoy some delicious cakes. Can you make cakes? Surprisingly, yes. I'm actually very good at baking. My cheesecakes taste heavenly. Well, and I found it so much fun. So when I'm baking cakes or muffins, I'm so focused that I forget about all my worries and just concentrate on making those tasty treats. Are there any traditional Korean cakes? Yes, um, there's a wide range of traditional Korean cakes, mostly made of rice and we call them duck and i'm a big fan of honey rice cake which is called gul duck it's so sweet and chewy are you good at memorizing things well um i wouldn't say i'm too bad at memorizing things well i mean i'm pretty good at remembering things that i care for example, um, I can easily recall my loved one's birthdays and some anniversaries. Have you ever forgotten something that was important? Yes, I have. Um, about a month ago, I completely forgot the password for access to my old bank account. I ended up having to go to the bank to sort it out. It was quite funny. I laughed at myself. Why do some people have good memories while others just don't? Um, that's an interesting question. Well, from my point of view, um, there are many factors that affect whether people have good memories or not. Um, one of them could be genetics and the other could be the environment. Describe a party that you enjoyed. Okay, um, let me tell you about June's birthday party that I had such a great time at. Um, a couple of months ago, I attended June's birthday party. He hosted the party at his place and a lot of people showed up. Well, he's such a social butterfly who enjoys meeting new people and has a wide circle of friends. And he loves inviting people over and cooking for them. I mean, he's a fantastic cook whipping up all sorts of restaurant quality dishes. Of course, he cooked a variety of dishes for his own birthday party, including some pasta, noodle soup, um, grilled chicken, pizza, and more. But plus, I should mention that I'm a huge fan of his seafood pasta. It tastes absolutely heavenly. So with the great food and the great host, everyone at the party had an amazing time. 
June is known for throwing epic parties, and it's no surprise why. I mean, he's incredibly popular. Um, everyone adores him so much, um, cause he's very energetic and cheerful. He gives up positive vibes, which makes people feel happy and comfortable. He's very witty too. I mean, he's the person who always makes silly jokes to lighten the mood. Well, plus. He's a caring person who thinks of others before himself and always there to help those in need. I mean, he's the sweetest person I know. So for these reasons, I had so much fun at his latest house party, and I look forward to the next one. Why do people like parties? People like parties for all sorts of reasons. You know, some like meeting new people, while others just want to have a good time with friends. Well, I like going to a fun party. It's just so much fun that I lost track of time when I'm having a blast at a party. Why do some people not like going to parties? Well, some people who are introverted might find large social gatherings draining. Not everybody is a social butterfly like my friend June, so um, introverted people prefer to have one-on-one -on -one conversation and enjoy hanging out in quieter and more peaceful settings. Do you think those who tend to stay at home are less healthy than those who often attend parties? Well, it really depends on the person, but um. Generally speaking, you know, party goers often end up doing things that aren't the best for their health. I mean, at parties, people tend to drink a lot and smoke, which are horrible for health. Do you think music and dancing are a must at a party? As far as I'm concerned, music and dancing can uplift the mood, but they're not essential. As long as people are enjoying their time, whether through conversations, games, or simply eating and drinking, the party can continue. What would you do if you were disturbed by a neighbor's party? Well, um, if they were ever loud late at night, I would kindly ask them to keep it down. Well, luckily I have great neighbors, so that has never happened. But if it did. I would approach them and have a conversation to resolve the issue. Do you live in a house or a flat? I live in a three-bedroom apartment with my family. Well, the house is not that big, but it's the perfect size for the three of us to live comfortably in. It's very cozy and comfy. What do you usually do in your house? Well, I do many things. I like to have my own time reading or playing guitar in my room. Well, plus I think my family spends a lot of time watching movies, um, playing board games, and having some tea together in the living room. What kind of house or flat do you want to live in the future? Well, I would love to live in a house with a huge pool and. A beautiful garden, with a patio swing. I enjoy cultivating a variety of vegetables in my garden, including tomatoes and lettuce, something like that. When did you start using social media? Um, I started using social media when I was in college. Um, all of my friends started to use it, and it looked so intriguing, you know. So in the beginning. I was so addicted to it that I used it every day whenever I have some spare time. Do you think you spend too much time on social media? Nowadays, yeah, I do spend quite a lot of time on social media. I mean, whenever I watch some random reels on Instagram, time flies by, and I often lose track of time. Do your friends use social media? Yes, um, most of my friends use social media, such as Instagram. You know, 
One of them, named Leah, is a heavy user. Well, she has a lot of followers and stuff, so posting pictures on her account has become a part of her daily routine now. Do you often wear sunglasses? Um, it really depends on the season. I mean, during summer and spring, I wear sunglasses frequently because the sun is quite strong, you know. But in winter and fall, I only wear them when I'm driving. Do you spend a lot of money on sunglasses? No, I don't buy any fancy or pricey sunglasses. Well, I prefer high quality ones though. So I usually check online, comparing prices and you know searching for good deals. I managed to get my last pair of sunglasses at a 50% discount because it was part of the Black Friday sale. Well, I was really happy about it. Do you give sunglasses as gifts? Um, not really. I've never given sunglasses as gifts to anyone yet. Um, there are too many options to choose from and, you know, everyone has different preferences when it comes to sunglasses. Um, I find it hard to pick sunglasses as a gift. Describe a place you would like to go to relax. Okay, um, let me tell you about the park that I often go to relax and chill. Well, the park is really close to my house. I mean, it's within walking distance from where I live. So I mostly get there on foot, which is super convenient. Um, the park has beautiful views of nature, well-managed walking trails through the trees and all kinds of flowers. Well, you can find many people working out there. You know, running, cycling, um, playing tennis. Well, it's a huge park offering tennis courts, bike trails, and even a place to fish. Well, I've seen people fishing there many times. Well, I usually go there to take a walk and just chill on weekends because I have a hectic schedule during the week most of the time. Um, when the weather is nice, I love going there, take a long walk in the morning as it helps me to start the day in a great mood. Um, when I'm strolling in the park, enjoying nature, in the moment, I forget about all my worries. I feel so relaxed and chill. Well, um, I have a friend, Leah, who likes the park as much as I do. So I sometimes go for a walk with her together. Um, it's great that I have someone to take a nice walk with. Moreover, there is my favorite cafe near the park. Um, the cafe isn't that big, but it's super cute. I love its cozy and comfy vibes. So I often go there to enjoy some coffee whenever I visit the park. So uh, when I received this cute card question, yeah, the park came to mind immediately. Do people have enough places to relax in your country? Yes, I do think there are more than enough places for people to relax. They can relax at home, parks, um, libraries, and some peaceful cafes, and so on. Everyone prefers different places to relax, but I'm sure they can find their own place to feel comfortable. What do people usually do when they are relaxed? Um, there are various activities that people do when they are relaxed. Some find meditation and yoga to be the best ways to unwind, while others prefer watching movies and reading books to relax and feel comfortable. Is physical activity good for relaxation? Well, in my personal view, yes, there are several physical activities that are good for relaxation. These activities can range from yoga and taking a walk to cycling and running. 
Well, engaging in such exercises can help people relieve stress and clear their minds. Do you think that spending time in front of a screen helps people relax? Well, it's hard to say because everyone has different preferences, but I suppose some people do feel very relaxed when they watch movies or play their favorite video games. So I guess for some individuals, spending time in front of a screen helps them unwind. Do people have to spend a lot of money to relax? I don't think that's true. Um, there are plenty of ways to relax without spending money. For example, um, practicing yoga at home or meditating with some quiet music doesn't cost any money. Do people nowadays have more ways to relax than in the past? Well, as far as I'm concerned, yes, there are more ways to relax than in the past. With the advancement of technology, people have access to lots of information about classes and activities. They can also find tutorial videos teaching um, how to meditate and more from anywhere at any time with their phones, which is very convenient. Please describe your hometown a little. Okay, well, Seoul is a big city which has everything from modern art galleries, great shopping places, um, famous restaurants, as well as huge city parks where you can enjoy a picnic. Do you like your hometown? Oh yes, definitely. Well, it is a great place to live since it has everything I need and lots of things to do. Well, it gets quite crowded, especially on weekends, but I love the hustle and bustle of this big city. Do you think you will continue living there for a long time? Um, I'm not too sure, actually. Well, I'm currently living in Seoul, and I grew up in Seoul, so it is my hometown as well. I've been living there all my life, you know, but I'm planning to study abroad and it is supposed to be for a few years but who knows what will happen next do you often feel bored not very often um, but of course i sometimes feel bored then i try to find something to do such as playing games um, listening to music watching youtube videos or going for a walk when it's nice outside When would you feel bored? I guess I get bored at various times. I mean, I feel bored at work sometimes, especially when it's not very busy. Plus, I get bored when I'm watching some movies or um, TV shows that aren't very interesting. What do you do when you feel bored? When I'm feeling bored, like I said, I try to do something fun. Well, nowadays, if I'm at home and feeling bored, um, I usually play video games. They're just so much fun, you know, that time passes by so quickly when I'm playing them. Do you think childhood is boring or adulthood is boring? Um, that's an interesting question. Well, so far, both my childhood and adulthood have been filled with adventures. But um, if I really have to choose one, then I think adulthood is a little less exciting than childhood. You know, um, as you get older, you have to deal with more responsibilities. And that usually means you need to be more serious about some stuff. Is the city where you live crowded? Oh yes, it is such a bustling city. I live in Seoul, which is known for being one of the busiest metropolitan cities, you know. So in the downtown area, there are always tons of tourists, commuters, and residents on the streets. Well, numerous cool pubs, restaurants, cafes, and um, shopping places are scheduled throughout the city. 
Do you like crowded places? I don't mind crowded places, but I don't love them either. You know, so when I have to visit some popular restaurants or shops, I try to go there on weekdays because most of them are relatively peaceful compared to the bustling weekends. Do most people like crowded places? Well, it's hard to say because you know everyone has different preferences, but in my personal view, um, most people don't prefer crowded places. Well, you know, people usually like to have some distance from strangers, and、uh, prefer a noise-free environment. Describe a job that you would not like to do in the future. Okay, um, let me tell you about my least favorite job that I would not like to do in the future, which is a customer service representative. Well, my high school friend Leah works in the customer service department, so I have an understanding of what it's like.、Um, she's very laid back and chill person. Well, probably one of the sweetest and most selfless individuals I know. However, despite her easygoing nature, she gets stressed out a lot at work.、Um, I mean, the customers often treat her badly and don't show her the respect she deserves. Well, I can't imagine myself working as a customer service representative, you know, dealing with angry customers who can be very aggressive, even yelling without reason, seems incredibly stressful. Well, it must be quite challenging to handle those situations with nonsensical behavior. Well, moreover, considering the demanding nature of the job. It's not well paid and lacks good benefits.、Um, in my personal view, CSRs should be compensated better for their efforts. Well, I'm sure there are people who fit into this position very well and are happy working as customer service representatives, but it's definitely not for me. What kind of jobs do Korean young people like to do? Um, there is a wide range of jobs that young people favor, but nowadays a significant number of young people are particularly interested in becoming YouTubers. Um, it's from their daily consumption of YouTube videos where they see some famous creators making a fortune by producing content, whether it's gaming or, or just discussing fun topics. Well, this may seem like an easy way to make money for them. Do young Korean people prefer to choose an interesting job or a job with a high salary? Well, it really depends on what individuals value.、Um, some prefer jobs that they are very intrigued by, and seem fun to do, while others prioritize positions with high salaries. Do you think it is easier to get a job now than in the past? Well, it's hard to say because every industry is facing a different employment situation, you know.、Um, however, from my perspective, it has become a lot easier to search for job postings and gather information about industries and jobs, making the job hunting process more convenient. Is it important to be successful in a job? Oh yes, definitely. Attaining success in a job is significant for most people, because it brings numerous benefits. Um, for instance, if you excel at work, you experience a sense of achievement and feel proud of yourself. Um, moreover, you're likely to have an increase in salary, which makes it even more rewarding. Do you think AI will take over many jobs? Um, it's hard to predict such a thing in the distant future, but uh, from my perspective, AI have been influencing people's lives, and they will continue to do so in the future. Well, already jobs in roles such as cashiers or factory workers have been lost because. 
they can easily be replaced by AI robots. Can AI improve people's lives? If so, how? The way I see it, AI has the potential to significantly improve people's lives in various ways. Well, one of the most crucial areas that AI is working on is healthcare. Um, AI can enhance medical treatment, contribute to more efficient drug discovery and all. Well, I'm confident that AI has already played an important role in saving lives and it will continue to do so in the future. Do you work or study? I work. I work as an English teacher. Well, I've been doing this job for about eight years now. Well, I like it. It's quite rewarding and very fulfilling. Why did you choose to do that type of work? Well, um, my English is good enough to teach classes and I've always been interested in teaching and it's very rewarding to help students improve their English skills. Is your job important to you? Of course, my job means a lot to me. Well, I'm so passionate about what I do and I love my job. You know, teaching has always been my passion. Plus, well, I work five days a week. Yeah, it plays a significant role in my life. Do you go running a lot? Um, I go for a run on my free period, and it's usually on weekends because I have a hectic schedule during the week most of the time. Well, usually I go running in the morning as it helps me start the day in a great mood. Where do you usually go running? Um, I mostly go to the park nearby, which has beautiful views of nature, well-managed walking trails through the trees and all kinds of flowers. Well, it's quite a huge park offering tennis courts, um, by trails and even a place to fish. Yeah, I like the park. When was the last time you went running? Um, the very last time I went running was not too long ago. It was last weekend. Well, I went running with my friend Gina. Well, she likes it as much as I do, so we often enjoy it together. Well, it's good that I have someone to go running with. What do you think of running as a sport? Um, I think it's good for everything. I mean, it's great for both physical and mental health. Um, it definitely helps me control my weight and get into shape. Since I started running regularly, I've been feeling much more energetic and less stressed. Describe a person who enjoys cooking for others. Okay, let me tell you about my friend June, who loves cooking for others. Um, he's my high school friend. We met on the very first day of school. He sat beside me and introduced himself, and we struck up a conversation. He's been my best friend to this day. And he loves inviting people over and cooking for them. He's a fantastic cook, whipping up all sorts of restaurant-quality dishes. I'm a huge fan of his seafood pasta. Um, it tastes absolutely heavenly. And he's also great at baking. His muffins melt in my mouth. He's such a social butterfly who enjoys meeting new people and has a wide circle of friends. So people love him. He always gives out positive vibes, which makes people feel very happy and comfortable. Um, also, he's very witty too. I mean, he has such a good sense of humor. Yeah, so he's the person who always makes silly jokes to lighten the mood. Um, moreover, because he's a good cook and a real foodie, he knows all the best spots. Well, I've never been disappointed with his recommendations. Recently, I went to the sushi restaurant he recommended. It was located downtown, but was kind of hidden in an alley. Uh, well, their sashimi was so fresh, melting in my mouth. I always trust his recommendations. So as soon as I received this cue card question, my friend June immediately came to mind. 
What do we need to prepare when we need to cook? When you cook, um, there are several items that you should prepare, including ingredients and cooking utensils like pots, knives, and you know dishes. Well, you might need additional items, but it really depends on what you're cooking and how you're cooking. Do you agree that food is an important part of Korean festivals and ceremonies? Oh, definitely. There's sometimes everything. Well, for any celebrations in Korea, we've got to have a huge feast, including various dishes such as rice cakes, barbecued meats, and traditional Korean liquor. So on the day of the celebration, people are bustling with preparations. Which dishes are a must at festivals? Well, if we're talking about Korean traditional festivals, um, you can't forget about rice cakes. They are a tradition we always uphold. Well, back then, we used to make rice cakes at home, but now it takes too much effort, you know? Everyone buys rice cakes for every traditional festival. Should students learn to cook at school? Yes, absolutely. It would be beneficial if all students learned how to cook at school. You know, cooking is a vital life skill um, that makes life easier and more convenient. So I do think schools should offer mandatory cooking classes. Do you think cooking should be a compulsory or an elective course? Why? As I said, in my personal view, cooking should be a required class in schools um, as a basic life skill that's super useful for everyone. Plus, it can help us eat better. So yeah, it makes sense to make it mandatory. Are there any differences between cooking today and in the past? It has changed quite a bit. Well, I think the biggest change is that there are various sources we can search about recipes, you know, cooking tools and all on the internet these days. I mean, now you can easily find videos, websites and apps that help you learn the recipes and more. Do you like the area you live in? Yes, I love my neighborhood. I live in downtown, so there are lots of Instagrammable cafes and good restaurants. And um, there are always many people, like tourists, couples, and locals hanging out in the area. Well, I love the hustle and bustle of this big city. Where do you like to go in that area? Um, there are several places I want to check out. Um, one of them is the cafe called Rain. Well, it has lots of good reviews on the internet and many people post about it on Instagram as well. Well, I heard that the place is almost always packed with so many people. So yeah, I would like to go and see what makes it so special. Do you know any famous people in your area? Yes, there is an actress, Gina, who has just become kind of famous because of her latest movie. Well, I mean, she's starting to make a name for herself on a global stage. Well, she's got a lot of fans, not only from Korea, but also from all over the world. Well, I heard that she lives in my neighborhood, but I haven't seen her in person yet. Do people like tea and coffee nowadays? It really depends on the person, you know? Uh, well, people like different things depending on their taste and lifestyles. But um, as far as I'm concerned, most people nowadays are quite keen on drinking tea and coffee on a regular basis, usually in the morning so they can start the day in a great mood. Do you prefer to use tea or coffee to serve your guests? Yeah, I'd rather serve tea for my guests because I'm quite into tea. Well, drinking some good herbal tea helps to feel calm and relaxed. And I want my guests to feel that way. Plus, 
Unlike coffee, tea is a beverage that everyone can enjoy. When was the last time you had a cup of coffee or tea? Well, the last time I had a cup of coffee was actually yesterday.、Um, I went to the coffee shop located downtown alone.、Um, it was great that I got to enjoy some time by myself drinking good coffee. Do you usually buy your coffee in a coffee shop? Yes, I do buy coffee in a coffee shop.、Um, I have my go-to cafe, which is not that big, but it is super cute. I love the cozy and comfy vibe of the place. Plus, all the staff working there are very kind and friendly. Do you enjoy inviting friends to your home for tea or coffee? Oh yes, I love inviting friends over and offering them some tea and coffee. Well, I sometimes bake cookies for them too. Well, my chocolate cookies melt in my mouth. All of my friends are big fans of my cookies. Describe an interesting conversation you had with a very old person. Um, I remember the time when I had a great conversation with my uncle June, who is quite old. He's in his sixties. Well, um, he is a very interesting and cool person, um, a successful entrepreneur, running his own business, providing online English courses for his children. Well, he always comes up with a lot of clever and interesting ideas for the online courses. In order to make the classes more engaging, and he's a go getter. I mean, he never settles for the status quo. He takes risks by trying out new ideas and challenging norms. Um. So yeah, people look up to him. I mean, he's a role model for many of his students and his employees. I also admire him and respect his strong resilience and the way he builds his business. And I had a good conversation with him during a family gathering last month, when I needed advice about my career. Well, he offered me some guidance and advice from his experience. He's such an excellent advisor. I gain a lot of valuable insights from our conversation. Well, not only is he a great advisor, but he's also a hilarious guy with a fantastic sense of humor, making our conversation even more enjoyable. You know. So yeah, conversations with my uncle June are always fun and inspiring. How do people have a conversation with an elderly person? It's hard to say because it really depends on what they are talking,、um, or what kind of relationship they have, and so on. But I guess most people try to keep it polite and show some respect when chatting with the elderly. I mean, they usually avoid using slang and swearing in front of them. What can young people learn from old people? There are a wide range of things that young people can learn from older people. It can range from practical life skills like cooking, cleaning, to gaining knowledge about things like、um, historical stories, geography, and all. Do you think old people can work better than young people? Um, it's not accurate to generalize that one group works better than others, as it is all depending on various factors such as the type of work and individual capabilities. Well, for example, when it comes to social media marketing, many young people might be better at the job, but for tasks requiring、um, extensive experience. Older people could be the better fit. What are the advantages of having people of different ages living in the same house? 
Um, there can be various benefits to living with people of different ages in the same house. Well, from my perspective, the most significant advantage is the learning opportunities it provides. Older family members can offer guidance and advice when younger individuals are in need, while older people can learn from younger ones about new technology or slang. Has old people's life quality improved when compared to the past? Yes, absolutely. From my point of view, um, the quality of life for the elderly has improved significantly compared to the past. The healthcare system is much better now, with an increased number of hospitals available for older people. But moreover, advancements in medical technology have made the lives of older individuals easier and less stressful. Do old people share the same interest with young people? Um, I don't think older people share the same interests as the younger generation. There has always been a generation gap, you know. For example, most young people are into social media, um, idol stars, and cute stationery. Stuff that older people don't really care about. What do you usually do in your house? Well, I do a lot of things, but um, nothing special. I mean, I enjoy reading books, um, listening to music in my room, and I love spending time watching TV or playing board games with my family in the living room. What's the difference between where you're living now and where you lived in the past? Um, there's not much difference between the two. Except for one thing that has changed a lot, my room. Well, um, when I moved in, I bought lots of new furniture, including a king-size bed, an armchair, and some ornaments that I put on my shelves. I guess that's the main thing that's changed. Do you think it's important to live in a comfortable environment? Well, from my point of view, it is essential to live in a comfortable environment. Well, um, I mean, home should be the safest and the most comfortable place where you can unwind and take a rest. Do you often lose things? I don't think I lose things often. Um, well, occasionally I have a hard time finding some stuff at home. But generally, I'm very careful with keeping and storing my belongings. I mean, losing things that mean a lot to me is the last thing I want, so I make a conscious effort not to misplace them. What can we do to avoid losing things? When I'm on a trip, I usually have a checklist on my phone. So whenever I change locations, I check my checklist to ensure I have everything. Well, the app is very easy to use and I can also plan my day with it, which is convenient, you know, um, and it helps me stay organized and avoid losing things. Why do some people tend to lose things more often than others? Well, some people tend to be forgetful and my mom is one of them. Well, I'm pretty sure it is due to her age, but um, she also has a lot on her mind. So sometimes she forgets to secure things properly. What will you do if you find something lost by others? Well, it really depends on the situation. If I find something that belongs to someone else at work, um, I'll try to look for the owner and uh, return it directly. But if I find something on the street, like a wallet, I would take it to the nearest police station. Describe a job that you would not like to do in the future. Okay, um, let me tell you about my least favorite job that I would not like to do in the future which is a customer service representative. 
Well, uh, my high school friend Leah works in the customer service department, so I have an understanding of what it's like. Well, she's a very laid back and chill person, probably one of the sweetest and most selfless individuals I know. However, despite her easygoing nature, she gets stressed out a lot at work. Well, I mean, the customers often treat her badly. And don't show her the respect she deserves.、Um, I can't imagine myself working as a customer service representative. I mean, dealing with angry customers who can be very aggressive, even yelling without reason, seems incredibly stressful. It must be quite challenging to handle those situations with nonsensical behavior. Moreover. Um, considering the demanding nature of the job, it's not well paid and lacks good benefits. Well, in my personal opinion, CSRs should be compensated better for their efforts. So I'm sure there are people who fit into this position very well and are happy working as customer service representatives, but it's definitely not for me. Well, there is a wide range of jobs that young people favor, but、um, nowadays a significant number of young people are particularly interested in becoming YouTubers. Well, it's from their daily consumption of YouTube videos where they see some famous creators making a fortune by、uh, producing content, whether it's gaming or just discussing fun topics. Well, this may seem like an easy way to make money for them. Do young Korean people prefer to choose an interesting job or a job with a high salary? Well, it really depends on what individuals value.、Um, some prefer jobs that they are very intrigued by and seem fun to do, while others prioritize positions with high salaries. Do you think it is easier to get a job now than in the past? Well, it's hard to say because every industry is facing a different employment situation.、Um, however, from my perspective,、um, it has become a lot easier to search for job postings and gather information about industries and jobs. You know, making the job hunting process more convenient. Is it important to be successful in a job? Yes, absolutely. Attaining success in a job is significant for most people because it brings numerous benefits. For instance,、um, if you excel at work, you experience a sense of achievement and feel proud of yourself. Well, moreover, you're likely to have an increase in salary, which makes it. Even more rewarding. Do you think AI will take over many jobs? Um, it's hard to predict such a thing in the distant future, but um, from my perspective, AI has been influencing people's lives, and they will continue to do so in the future. Where already, jobs in roles such as cashier or factory workers have been lost. Because they can easily be replaced by AI robots. Can AI improve people's lives? If so, how? Um. Well, the way I see it, AI has the potential to significantly improve people's lives in various ways. One of the most crucial areas. That AI is working on is healthcare. Well, AI can enhance medical treatment, contribute to more efficient drug discovery, and all. I'm confident that AI has already played an important role in saving lives, and、um, will continue to do so in the future. Describe an occasion when you use the map. Um, I would like to tell you about the time I used the map to find the cafe that my friend recommended to me.、Um, it was a month ago, 
I had plans with my friend Leah.、Um, we both are very keen on trying some new cafes and restaurants. And that day, we wanted to check out the cafe called Rain, where another foodie friend recommended to go. Well, I've never failed to try the cafe based on her recommendations. So yeah, Leah and I decided to go there. It was located in downtown, but it was kind of hidden in an alley. I mean, the place was quite challenging to find, even with the map, actually. So we walked around the area, looking at the direction apps for like fifteen minutes, and yeah, we finally found a place. Their coffee was so good, and the muffins melted in my mouth. Well, plus the cafe was totally an Instagrammable place. I mean, the building itself is quite old, but they gave the inside a full makeover recently. Um, so now the inside is very modern and vivid. So yeah, we took tons of pictures there. So although we had hard time finding the place, even with the map, it was totally worth it. Well, um, at the time the place was packed with so many people. I guess it's because there are numerous good reviews on the internet, and lots of people keep posting about it on Instagram. Well, anyway, I remember the time we had to use multiple map applications to find a place, and luckily the cafe was well worth the effort. Expressions, 약속이 있다, have plans. 아주 좋아하다, be keen on. 식도락 미식가, foodie. 골목 Alley. 어려운 힘든, challenging. Navy app, direction app. 입에서 녹다 아주 맛있다, melted in my mouth. 인스타에 올릴만한 사진 찍기 좋은, Instagrammable. 단장, makeover. 가치 있는, worth. 뭐뭐로 가득 차다. Be packed with. 아주 많은, numerous. 
What do people often do with a map? Well, obviously people use maps to find their ways to the destinations. I think that's what most people do with a map. Um, well, another common use that comes to mind is exploring what places like cafes, restaurants, and shopping centers are in the area. Expressions come to mind. 떠오르다, 생각나다, explore. 탐험하다, 둘러보다. Why do most people prefer to use a paper map? Well, I didn't know most people prefer using paper maps than the digital ones. Well, in my personal view, the majority of people nowadays favor digital maps on their phones because they offer way more detailed information and functions, making it much easier to find a way. Expressions, the majority of, 대부분, favor, 선호하다. How does learning to read a map help you learn more about your country? Map reading skills can help you understand the country in various ways. Um, by interpreting maps, people can learn about key features, um, such as mountains and rivers, you know. Um, moreover, it provides a better understanding of transportation networks in their country. Expressions interpret, 해석하다, feature, 특성, transportation, 이동수단. Describe a public facility that has been renovated and improved. Okay, um, I would like to talk about the library where it has been renovated recently. There is one library that I often go to. Um, it is within walking distance from where I live. So I usually go there on foot, which is very convenient, you know. Um, the library building itself is quite old, but they gave the inside a full makeover recently. Now the inside is very modern and vivid, and it became more spacious and has more room for visitors now. I love that now it has floor-to-ceiling windows all over that let in abundant natural light, giving a bright ambience. After the renovation, the library is almost always packed with so many people because there are numerous great reviews on the internet and many people keep posting about it on Instagram as well. One of the things that I really liked about the place is that um, all the staff working there are very friendly and kind. It's actually one of the reasons that um, this place has become my go-to place. I love going there, you know, spending time reading books or studying. I mostly go there alone. So um, when I'm in the library, I get to have my alone time, which is good, you know. I mean, I get to fully focus on what I'm doing and also enjoy some me time. This library has always been my favorite and I'm thrilled that they gave it a great makeover, enhancing the overall ambience. Expressions Within walking distance 걸어갈 수 있는 거리 Within walking distance Makeover 단장, makeover. Floor to ceiling windows. 통유리 창문, floor to ceiling window. Ambience. 분위기, ambience. Be packed with. 뭐로 가득 차다, be packed with. Numerous. 많은, numerous. Go to place. 자주 가는 곳. Go to place. Focus on. 집중하다. Focus on. Me time. Alone time. 혼자만의 시간. Me time. Alone time. Enhance. 향상시키다. Enhance. 
What are the benefits of public facilities? Public facilities offer numerous advantages. For instance, public libraries provide books, um, spaces for studying and reading, as well as programs where people can acquire knowledge and skills. The best part is that these services are mostly free of charge, making them accessible to anyone in the community. Numerous, 아주 많은, acquire, 습득하다 얻다, free of charge, 무료, accessible, 다가가기 쉬운. Why are some public transport methods popular, such as the subway? Um, in my city, both buses and subways are popular. Um, and the main reason is that there are extensive networks of buses and subways in the city. Well, it's very easy to search routes and timetables through the applications as well, making both options very convenient and fast. Extensive, 광범위한, route, 루트 길, application, app, convenient. Why are some public transport methods unpopular? That's an interesting question. Well, um, I can't think of any unpopular transport in my city. Well, all the public transport systems are well organized and effectively managed. They're reliable and very economical. Well, I guess in some cities, um, the buses often don't adhere to their schedules, which makes people not really big fans of them. Unpopular, 인기 없는, well organized, 정리가 잘 된, effectively, 효과적으로, reliable, 믿을 수 있는, economical, 경제적인, adhere. 충실히 지키다, big fan of something, 아주 좋아하다. What kind of transport do young people and old people prefer? Well, obviously, it really depends on the person, but um, generally speaking, young people tend to prefer more budget-friendly transportation options. On the other hand, Older individuals often opt for some transport where they can sit comfortably, like taxis or trains with reserved seats. Generally speaking, 일반적으로 말하면 budget friendly, 저렴한, opt for, 선택하다, reserved, 예약된, Do you think people will feel happier when they are in a park or a coffee shop? Why? People go to parks to get some fresh air, you know, take a walk and enjoy nature. So most of the time, people feel happy and very chill in the parks. Also, at cafes, people spend time having conversations over coffee, enjoying good desserts and all, you know. So, um, I'm pretty sure many of them feel content and relaxed. Get some fresh air. 바람을 쐬다. Chill. 여유로운. Content. 만족스러운. Is a public park necessary in every area? Why? As far as I'm concerned, public parks might not be necessary. But it's great to have them in the area. Parks can bring several advantages. Well, um, first of all, they provide places for residents to work out and do some fun activities. It's crucial to have places for residents to exercise regularly, as it's closely linked to both physical and mental health. And in the park, people get to enjoy nature, which helps them feel relaxed and chill. Well, you know, city dwellers really need that kind of break, you know. As far as I'm concerned, 내 입장에서는 resident, 
거주 민 work out 운동하다 crucial 중요한 dweller 거주민